Hello class, this is Tyler Maley, your instructor for um, Math 1230 Quantitative Reasoning. Um, I'm making this video just as I would go over some things on the first day of class. Um, so I'll go over like the syllabus and I thought I would talk a little bit about um, myself so you have a chance to get to know me. Um, <clears throat> so this is a picture of me and my wife. Um, actually we're at Ashland University at their um, annual Bloom Fest, which is really cool if, if you ever get a chance to check it out. Um, it's always right around July 4th and they, they also have um, fireworks. Um, but but obviously I'm on the left, uh, my name is Tyler Maley and my wife on the right, um, her name is Molly and she is a sixth grade teacher at Grant Middle School. Uh, she teaches English. Uh, she's been seventh grade uh, English in the past at Grant but, but this year she's gonna move to sixth grade. And I apologize for if my voice is a little scratchy, my allergies um, have been acting up. All right, so then um, show you my boys. So this um, this child on the left, this is my son Preston. He's eight. Um, he's really active in baseball, um, and it's hard to believe he'll be going into third grade at Galleon City Schools. Um, this is a picture. Um, he's on a travel baseball team, and, and also a guy in City Rec League. So we're on two baseball teams this year. Uh, one of I'm, I'm helping coach the Rec League, um, but but Preston and his team travel team Johnny Appleseed Baseball Club got second place in the Marion tournament. Um, so there there there's Preston and his best friend Jackson. They're really excited about the win. And then on the right side, um, this picture. This is my. Um, one-year-old son, well, he's 19 months, to be more specific. Um, his name is Bruce, um, and he's a actually was m making brownies for his brother's birthday in, in, in this picture. We were letting him help stir, stir the mix. Um, so those two boys are uh, what keeps me busy. <laughs> um, so, again, just talk a little bit about myself. So... Um, I've had a long college career. Um, I've I've been in college the past uh, ten years. Um, I received my Associate of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and a Master's in Math Education through the Ohio State University. Um, but during that time, you know, I've had a vast experience uh, with college um, as a student and um, at as working at as uh, at a college. I've, I've held various roles at a college. Um, so I'm getting ready to start my fourth year uh, full-time as mathematics faculty at Marion Tech. Um, I've taken a lot of on I've taken online courses. I've taken evening classes. I've commuted. I've been a student on campus right out of high school. I went to University of Toledo right out of high school. Um, so I've really had a vast um, experience with college, and I think that's that's what what will. Um, make a difference and helping me make a difference in your life and being a good college instructor is I've, I've I've had a lot of experiences and I've I've come to see you know some things that work and some things that don't and um not not that I have it perfected or I ever will but but I th uh, I think I have a good um handling on this um I've taught online um I think about 8 terms now and I recently just completed a teaching online certificate through Quality Matters, which is a um, organization that that w wants to make o a quality online education. So I think that's really helped impact my my learning. Um, and also, I bounce a lot of things off my wife, um, who again she teaches sixth grade English, but she's also working on her master's degree through the University of Finley. Um, and it's in children's literature. Uh, she really likes reading, and she she's actually started writing her own um, young adult literature novel. Um, but but she she's been helpful too, and and just through her experiences through online, and and I bounce I like I said I bounce ideas off her, and she gives me some some good feedback. Um, try to think what else. Oh, and I'm I'm currently working on a master of science in mathematics. Uh, through Shawnee State University, um, and and the the degree program is um, 
a hybrid. Um, there, there's a large online component, and then there's um, a component where I have to go to campus, um, but it's geared around a working adult schedule. So um, I'll go down to Shawnee um, like on the weekends or, or uh, during the summer, typically during the week. So, so it is very um, adult friendly um, program. So that, that also is helpful for me having a lot of experience with online math courses to help see what I like and don't like and, um, and see what I can improve. So this is the first time um, that this course is offered online. Uh, so I'm, you know, I'm interested if you have any feedback, like things that you really like or don't like. I know I'm open to, um, open to your comments. So you can just send me an email and let me know um, what you think. Um, all right. So that's um, probably enough about me. Um, one other thing I just wanted to mention. So if you go to www.mtc.edu. Um, get this loaded here. My internet has seemed to be somewhat slow today. I don't know why. <clears throat> um, see the. Well, it seems like the main tech website might be down. It doesn't seem to be working. Um, so I was just going to show you uh, a, a flyer. <clears throat> just showing showing the changes that we have in in, in our mathematics curriculum um, so I guess I can pull it up a different way let's see <clears throat> all right so I wasn't able to pull this up from the website but if you go to www.mtc.edu slash mathematics um, that will bring you to a website um, that has a link to download this flyer and there's also an HTML based version um, on that website um, so we, we under we've undergone some mathematics curriculum changes and we're at the point where we're um, currently only teaching our new new course new coursework um, so you can Feel free to read read through this and let me know um, if you have any questions uh, about the the curriculum. So the the main thing I want to just uh, to see for a, a moment here. Um, let, let me um, was ju just to sh just to demonstrate the math pathways, the uh, flow chart here. So uh, there's three degrees that, that we call our core college courses. So these are the three courses that are typically going to be used by a degree program. So um, d d degrees um, we're able to pick from quantitative reasoning, statistics, or college algebra, uh, depending on what would be the most useful for that particular discipline. And I helped um, all of the coordinators of the degrees to help uh, choose the appropriate math mathematics course, um, and I designed um, m most of these courses. So the the class that we're in is the QR pathway, the quantitative reasoning um, pathway, and I really look at QR as um, kind of in the middle between stats and college algebra. It has characteristics of each um, each course, as as we're going to see. All right, All right so take this down all right so here here's our canvas course um, so after you log into canvas and click on our class um, you'll, you'll come to this home page right I just want to talk a little bit about how how I set up the how I set up the course so the first tab you'll see is announcements um, it's probably gonna be grayed out for you because I haven't yet posted an announcement um, but this is where I'm gonna post um, important information for the course. So if I want to send out like an email to the whole class, what I'll do is I'll post it as an announcement, and then depending on your settings um, for for your alerts from Canvas, um, that will also go to your um, email address, right? So you'll you'll get it twofold, right? And just to clarify, when I'm talking about email, uh, this inbox feature um, is not 
um, your Marion Tech email. So um, I, I don't want to click on this. I don't want to uh, sh show student emails that, that I've gotten for confidentiality. But um, but this inbox um, button. This is a messaging service inside of um, Canvas. So it's it's not the same as your Marion Tech email. So to access your Marion Tech email, which Again, I'm not able to pull up the Marion Tech website, um, but if you go to www.mtc.edu, um, there is a, um, a envelope, um, a mail icon in the top right corner, and you can click on that and log in, and that's your Marion Tech email, right? So when we, when, as an instructor, when we um, ex explain how important it is to check your email on a daily basis, that's the email that we're, we're talking about, right? And if you prefer, you can also get your Marion Tech email on your phone. You can set that up and, um, you know, you can contact IT or, or if, if, if you need my help, you can stop in my office and I can help you set that up on your phone. Um, for example, I get um, email on my phone. It, it's just convenient, right? Um, but that doesn't mean that um, that I'll get back with you right away. Uh, I typically do, um, but you should, you should give me about 24 hours um, to be able to get back back with you by email, um, right? All right. So then, um, this next link is my math lab and mastery. Um, so you you only see these two links, these two student links. Um, so after you connect your my math lab with Canvas, um, you can just click on this this second link here, my math lab with Pearson eTex Course Home. So if you click on this. This will launch you right into uh, the My Math Lab site for this course, um, and it won't uh, require you to log in. So it's a it's a one-time login process. So you should always get get to your My Math Lab course through Canvas, right? And and the beautiful thing about this is the grades sync, right? Um, so you won't see this tab, but so I have options here to sync grades and, and you can see I have it set as automatically. So this is a new feature inside of uh, Canvas with my math lab where uh, grades will be synced automatically. This this is the first term that it's been offered and, and so this is the first term that I've tried it. So I'm not quite sure what they mean by automatically. Um, are they automatically updated at midnight every night or is it in, you know is it every hour? I'm not quite sure how frequent the um, the sync will will occur, but but this looks promising because before I had to go in and manually um, tell Canvas to sync with my Math Lab, so um, that wasn't quite as convenient as this automatic feature, right? So bear with me on that. Right? Um, and this um, did did go ahead and, and load right the my Math Lab. Um, so my Math Lab is is a separate product that that we use uh, with Canvas and. In, in the math courses, um, so I can show you some features within um, my math lab. So, um, so like one feature here, start the e-text. So for this specific um, textbook, um, th there is not a hard hard edition. Um, there, there's only an e-book. <clears throat> so if you go to start e-text, then um, you, you can see the different chapters. So the introduction to Excel is the first chapter that we're going to start in um, and it's um, denoted as chapter A in, in the in the syllabus and, and so forth. So if we click um, click on one of the sections like the section intro one um, it, it should launch here. And, right. Again I apologize it's taking taking a lot longer than normal So if we click here at interactive e-text, um, it will open up. Right, so here's the e-text. Um, so A1 is introduction to spreadsheets, and it, it gives you learning objectives and 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 goes through um, 
through through the objectives but something to keep in mind is that this is not a typical um, ebook this is a little different um, experience than just reading so there's gonna be a lot of things that you also click on that are very important when I tell you to read the text uh, so for example this um, button here um, th this is a a definition so if I click on it that's how I'm going to get the the def the definition for this term There we go. Now, now it's working here. So, so here it's saying the uh, the term, and here's the definition, right? So it's important when you're reading the text um, to note definitions. Definitions are going to be very important in this course um, in, in quantitative reasoning, right? And I'm going to upload a video um, that talks about what is quantitative reasoning. Um, but 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 for now I'm just focusing more on the syllabus and, and, and different functionalities of the course right so make sure you read definitions right there are key figures with with notes um, and then one nice thing about um, this text is at the bottom um, if there are Excel features that you're unfamiliar with um, at the bottom are tons of resources to help you um, with using Excel right so um, it's like for example here inserting sheet name and page numbers and footer if you don't know how to do that skill you can click on the link um, and it will pop up a video um, d demonstrating the skill for you All right so the the benefit of using this text is I didn't have to require an Excel um, cell type of course uh, as a prereq although this course is um, pretty heavy in Excel but I I will teach you um, the skills necessary as we go along and also that the textbook is a great resource if you're unfamiliar with with how to do things in Excel and also you can just YouTube um, you know go to YouTube and search for uh, different skills and there's there's lots and lots of resources on the web All right so we could just to click insert play a footer into a word for example and, and you could watch this through right Right, so we can click here to go to the next page. Right, um, and again, you'll see more and more uh, pages. Um, so another another item that's important in the text as you go along is there are videos throughout the text, and and oftentimes um, what the author says in the text is also written. Um, but I think seeing the audio and visual at the same time is very important. So like if you click on this. Um, it will open up a video that goes along with that part of the section, right? All right, so we can play, can rewind, fast forward. Um, you can click this to go full screen if you wish, uh, so forth, right? So, so again, it's important to really check out um, the whole whole page um, and click on the various links, right? There's a lot of clickable things in the text, not just reading. So it's it's not just reading; it's also watching uh, the videos. And then here on the left, you can jump around in the text as you'd wish. Um, and there's a lot of functionalities up here that you can use as well. Um, like you can highlight things, you can uh, make a note in the text, and so forth. Um, so there's a lot of a lot a lot of useful things uh, w with this ebook. Right. So I really uh, highly suggest um, you know check checking this out because you you will be reading the book um, often. All right, so then now I'm going into modules, and th this w should be where you spend a lot of your time. Um, and and I have the modules split up as weeks. Um, so before the the week one module, there's this getting started module. So hopefully you've already checked this out. If not, you know, you really should check check out the getting started agenda. So these are items to really help you uh, be successful in the course. Uh, so the very first thing is the course syllabus, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click this and download this. Um, we can go go through that together. Um, go through some of, some of the items. Right. 
right so of course you can see the course we are this is an online course for summer 2017 um, tells you the number of credit hours um, and the prereqs so if you um, feel that you are were incorrectly placed in this class you know please contact me as soon as possible and I can help you um, you know it's never um, a good experience if you're placed in a class that's too hard or too easy um, for, for your mathematical ability so I can definitely help with that in fact most most of the advisors have me on speed dial and call me frequently to, to get advice on how to place specific students so I came up with the placement I built the coursework I, I've really been highly involved in every aspect of the of, of the coursework um, and I'm also um, well I helped secure what well, three different grants that helped me redesign all the mathematics curriculum so if I started out with a $500 grant and then a $20,000 grant and then a, recently I just got a $150,000 grant um, and then I got oh, kind of a fourth side grant of $8,000 that I'm going to be uh, the $8,000 grant I'm going to be using it for um, in the fall and spring to do a fiscal analysis uh, regression analysis to uh, better better place our um, placement scores with with pass rates in the, in the coursework so so you know I'm really involved in a lot a lot of the coursework so if you have any questions about anything you know feel free to reach me um, telephone's probably not the best way to reach me but you can certainly call me and leave me a message and I'll get back with you as soon as possible um, email is the best way um, and you can also stop by my office if, if I'm if I'm available I'll be glad glad to help you so I don't have set office hours in the summer, um, not, uh, um, it's just by appointment. So if if you uh, need need to uh, if you if you want to set up an appointment with me, you know feel free to email me um, and we can get something set up. I'll be glad to help. Okay, so here's the course description. You can read through that. Um, so the the big part of the course is being able to understand real life situations and be able to read and write mathematics right um, so that's definitely a focus and here are some topics that will cover ratios rates percentages units some descriptives linear and exponential modeling personal finance probability and, and so forth right so the textbook we're using information is here um, and as I said earlier you are going to need Microsoft Excel um, but you can get that free of charge. Um, so if we go back to the Getting Started Agenda, um, here is a video that I did post on how to download R in Office 365. So I made uh, th that video specifically for my stats class, um, but it, it does help you know how to download those things. Um, it's not super important to download R. Um, in fact, you guys are, aren't required and don't have to download R. Um, but I so R is a Cisco package that's free of charge. Um, that's pretty powerful. It can do a lot of cool things. Um, I'll probably um, show you how to do a few things in R, just just because it, it can be a lot easier than using uh, Excel at times. Um, but but our main focus, our main software in this course will be be Microsoft Excel. So you must you must have um, Microsoft Office download on your computer. So you can follow this video and. Um, you know, you can jump forward like the last minute or so. Um, I'll show you how to download Office 365 for free, right? All right, so let's go go here back to the syllabus. Um, so calculator usage, you can use about any calculator in the class. Um, you know, any any scientific calculator will work. So, like one that that I would recommend. Is this calculator here, right? So this this is a version of a cheap calculator you could use the TI thirty XS, um, or I mean, like I I have a lot of these calculators that I just clicked on here if it'll load.
All right, so this this calculator is really common and, and probably one of the cheapest bets. This will work just fine also. Um, you're definitely going to need a calculator that, that can do natural log, can do exponent log, um, and, and so forth. All right, those are the, the big functionalities that, that we'll need. All right. So then major learning objectives, you can read over that. So those are um, the major learning objectives that the state of Ohio sets for the um, the transfer module for this course. And then the course outline. So I broke this up by weeks also. Um, so in this column, these are lecture topics that we'll be the covering dur during the, those weeks, what sections. Um, and then the right will be assign assignments that are due. Um, and every week this summer, I'm going to have assignments due on Monday at 11.30 a.m., right? So this week ends on the 11th, but notice the assignments are due on the 12th by 11.30 a.m. So before, um, I had tried doing assignments due at Sunday at 11.59 p.m. at midnight of, of, of the week. Um, but what I ran into is students would have technical difficulties at the last minute, and there's no one around a Sunday at midnight to help them. So I've moved this to um, Mondays at 11.30 a.m. Um, so that way um, you, you have some time. If you're having trouble over the weekend, you can come to campus Monday morning and get, get things fixed, right? But those are um, hard deadlines, right? So you want to make sure you're staying on track and, and, and keeping up with the work. Um, this, this course will be very fast-paced because it is an eight-week course, right? So there's going to be lots of assignments and make sure you get those done on time. Um, there's just one exception. The very last week I made those assignments due on the f Friday of that week by 11.30 a.m. Um, and that's because I have to get grades done um, be before Monday. So well, I have to have grades, I think, Monday by noon. So I needed I need some time over the weekend to get all the grades finalized. Um, so so just just take note that that's not a Monday, right? All right. So then you can read over the outline. If you have questions, feel free to send me an email or whatnot. Um, so if we scroll down, you can see see the different types of assignments, right? You can read over that. So we're gonna have homework. Um, in my math lab. Um, also, you're going to have what's called concept checks. So you have about one of those a chapter that will be collected in Canvas. Um, there will be Excel assignments um, anywhere from one to two a week um, that, that you'll complete. So you download those, upload those through Canvas. Um, and then there will be quizzes on my math lab. Um, the, the quizzes um, are timed. Um, but you're, you're, you're allowed two attempts on, on every quiz and I'll take the highest of the two attempts. Um, so it's important to take those seriously. Um, then there'll be one project in the class um, that will be due towards the very end. Um, that that'll kind of pull together a lot of material that we've learned throughout the term. Um, and then there are two exams, a midterm and a final, right? So you can see there's a typical 10-point grading scale along with the assignment categories and how it's going to be weighted in your final grade. Um, and this is the note that I do round to the nearest uh, whole number when I calculate your grade. So if you got an 89.6%, I'll round that up to a 90% A. Um, and then here's just a makeup late policy, right? So there's no makeups for homework assignments or projects, so forth. So it's really important you get that done on time. Um, and if there are, you know, an extreme emergency, like, you know, you're, maybe your wife's pregnant, she's going into labor, and you're not able to get some assignments done, you know, certainly email me and be in contact with me right away, um, you know, before assignments are due, um, and I, I'll deem if, 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 it's, if, if it's acceptable to, to give you an extension and, and how long that might be. Um, you know, I'll work with you if, if, if something major happens. Um, you know, some, some things are out of our control. All right. And something that's really important to go over is the credit hour definition. So we are doing an eight-week course, a three-credit hour course, and this is an online course. So every three-credit hour course online, you can expect to spend 18 hours a week working on um, watching lecture videos, completing assignments, reading the book, and so forth, right? And that's a minimum. So, um, you know, you want to make sure that 
that you're understanding that you know this course will take about 20 hours a week and if you're taking another three credit hour course you know that's already a full-time job so just taking six credit hours in an eight-week term is roughly about 40 hours worth worth of work per week right um, so you want to make sure you're being focused and allowing enough time to complete the assignments right and not waiting until the last minute uh, to complete assignments or you, you probably won't be successful in the class right um, So there's other information to read here that's just required to be in the syllabus, um, like academic misconduct, right? So, um, you know, you know, basically for for this class, you know, you should not be sharing files or, um, uh, you know, copying off of another student. You know, those those definitely are academic misconduct. And if I catch that, and we do catch that often. Um, you know, every term we have at least one or two students that will share Excel files in various courses, and 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 they end up, you know, getting going through mis academic misconduct, which is not a fun process for anyone. Um, so just don't do it, you know. And if you have any questions, if you are unsure, you know, hey, is this uh, allowed um, to be done? You know, feel free to email me. But most likely, if you're questioning it, then then it's not probably not going to be okay. Um, Financial aid reporting, so I do have to give attendance. So this is an online course, so I give weekly attendance um, for financial aid reporting. Excuse me. So um, how I uh, calculate attendance is I look at, you know, did you complete the coursework for the week, right? And if the answer is yes, then you're present. If you didn't complete the work, then you're absent, right? So that's how you're absent and present in my online course. Um, and the last thing here is verbiage on the college graduate competencies. So I placed a page um, about the college graduate competencies in the getting started um, uh, module. Um, and then this is also information in the syllabus that you can read over. And then lastly here um, is the addendum. So if we click on this link, um, the addendum will pop up here. Um, yeah, that's right, because the website website's down. Um, but I do have it here also as a link. Um, so, so this is just something to read over. So just information on tutoring. If if you think you um, uh, need accommodations for a disability, if you have drug, alcohol, mental health concerns, um, information about academic advising, financial aid, uh, and so forth. Um, you know, this is a really important document to read over a lot of student life type of things to help you with academics. Um, then also in the Getting Started module, there's information here about math tutoring. Um, so we're, we're not having um, open lab math tutoring times uh, during during the summer, um, but but there, there are e-tutoring um, services available and also one-to-one -one peer tutoring. Uh, so if you click on these various links, you can access those. So the e-tutoring is where you can get tutoring online at various times. Um, and these are all with um, college faculty at Ohio institutions. Um, and they have a lot of odd hours like evening and weekends and also regular, you know, business hours. Um, so I feel free, you know, to check that out. Um, it's, it's super easy to do. And I, I think it's easy to get help also. So I, I've had a lot of students have good experience with that and then the one online um, or excuse me the one-to-one -one peer tutoring is where you meet with someone on campus and, get, and work with someone one-on-one uh, -on -one to get help in the class and that's that's not just a drop-in like one-time deal um, that's typically if you want to meet on a weekly basis like one two hours um, a week and then this last link here is just some math hub websites that I put together that you can feel free to check out so there's just a few, what, seven links here that you can click on and, and, and just some places you can get some help. All right, so there's a lot of help available um, to help you. Let me close some of this. All right. <clears throat> All right, so then hopefully you already checked out this link. Um, this link is to connect your Pearson and Canvas accounts, right? So if you haven't, make sure you click on that and follow the follow the video. Um, here's the the link I told you about for math 
CGCs. Um, and then below here's a video um, about how to download Microsoft Office, which you'll definitely need for the class. And then uh, lastly here, um, this is a discussion that I post in all my online classes, um, which, oops, I need to change this. So there's just questions about anything, right? So if you have uh, questions that you would typically ask in front of a class, then you can uh, post these here and I can answer like I would in front of the class, right? But if you if you need to ask me something that's more personal, like something you wouldn't ask in front of a class, you would ask maybe, um, ask me in private or ask me if I'd go in the hall and talk to you about something, that's something that you should email me about and, and here's my email address, right? But this is just a nice, nice way to 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 get some um, some feedback, right? And then, um, so so after you go through all of that, um, you'll want to go to the week one agenda, and I'm um, try trying this out, organizing everything in a table fashion. So at the top, I say when assignments are due, and then you can um, just click on different items for for each lesson. Um, so like here, what is QR lesson? Um, here is an option, or here's where I'll post like where what you should read before doing this lesson, um, and then um, different notes and resources that to download or utilize, um, and then here these will be links to the lecture video, um, and then these are assignments to complete, right? So um, everything should be. My my goal is to have everything very organized and, and easy to follow. Um, with this, right? So I'd be happy to hear um, hear how how you like like this layout, <clears throat> right? So like here, chapter zero homework. So this is actually in my math lab, but if I click on this, it opens up the the my math lab in inside of this, right? So I can click on question one. And I can work on my math lab homework, right, without actually going to the my math lab site. So it's very convenient in in that sense, right, to complete assignments through this uh, new. Um, this this that, that's actually another new feature that that was built um, in Canvas for my math lab, right. And some assignments, like the course introduction, is a Canvas site, right. But just by clicking the link, you'll you'll get right to where you need to go, right. Um, so so it should be pretty convenient and, and easy to use. All right. So as I was saying, you know, before you do less, before you watch the the lecture videos and take notes, you should read the textbook, right? And I tell you what sections to read. So like here, the intro in, intro to Excel lesson, you should read um, chapter A, section one, and chapter A, section two in the textbook um, before you would go through that, right? So make sure you're reading the textbook, um, and 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 also reading it how I. Um, give you advice previously about you know make sure you're reading the whole page clicking on the different functions and really getting the whole picture because it's an interactive text it's not just a, a static text where where nothing is really changing alright All right. well I think that's um, all that I, that I wanted to go over um, in this video so again, if you have questions, feel free to to post something in the um, <clears throat> in the discussion board. Right, the questions about anything, um, or send me an email. All right, thanks.